So probiotic, unfortunately, is a super narrow spectrum. And so your typical probiotic will have three species or seven species in there at a copy of some 35 to 100 billion copies per, per dose. And so you're looking at a massive monocrop phenomenon. You're supposed to have 30,000 species and you're taking three species every day that at 50 billion copies, you're gonna narrow your ecosystem over time. So the only way in which a probiotic makes sense is maybe for a few days after a viral infection or you got an antibiotic for a bacterial infection or something like that, and you're trying to repopulate, just throw a few good guys into the mix while you're in recovery. I can't argue with that. However, chronic use of any probiotic, I think is probably not the right way to get to optimal gut health. If you find yourself benefiting chronically from a probiotic, it means that your environment hasn't enriched and you need to get outside. You need to start fermenting your own food. You need to get a lot more microbiome introduced to get the train to the point where it's way past any probiotic capacity. Prebiotics, again, are selecting for a relatively narrow spectrum of bacteria because it's usually just a single sugar alcohol that's being added, something like xylitol or, or the rest. And so the pro probiotics were a step in the right direction to make us suddenly kind of admit as a, as a world that maybe some bacteria are good. We need to now see all bacteria is good. It all has a role. All the fungi, all the parasites, they all have a role in the ecosystems. So we need to welcome in much more than the quote unquote good bacteria. Calling things good bacteria it just reinforces our belief that most bacteria are bad. It's just, I, I think it's detrimental in the long run to the communication of, of the field. But nonetheless, if you're on a probiotic, I would just say start dialing that back as you re-engage. To watch the full episode or to subscribe to the podcast, click the link in the description or visit us at neurohacker.com slash collective insights.